Hello guys and gals, me Mudahar, and welcome to another Virus Investigations. This time it's a little chill Virus Investigations. You know, we're not going to be looking at millions of dollars worth of viruses right now. We're going to be looking at the original creepypasta funsy viruses, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to be looking at the ones that are harmful, but at least they're fun to browse through. They're a little, this one's a little spooky, so, you know, just fair warnings right over there. Now, for this situation, we're going to get right into it over here. Now, this is a pretty virgin desktop, but this is not just a virgin desktop. This is a desktop within a desktop. Just to fill you in, we're actually running a virtual machine within a virtual machine, and I, before we continue, you might be wondering, Muda, why would you do such a thing? Well, that's because when you run a virtual machine within a virtual machine, if it has a virtual machine penetrating viruses, like one that can hop a, vir hop a virtual machine hypervisor, you'll know. It'll be a stopgap. At the very core, I'm running Linux again, and nothing is going to get to it at that point. I have things sandboxed pretty well. But the virus we're running in today's episode is Mrs. Major 2.0. So the reason I'm doing it is because this virus was created for fun's sake. It was one that was just developed to sort of uh, screw around and show you the weird side. Think of something like MEMS, but just in a more creepier environment. Now, one thing to consider over here, this virus is not available at all. This was a little difficult for me to find just due to the fact that the creator, Electro Berkeley, if I can uh, pronounce it right completely, I think that's Electro Berkeley, actually removed this virus just due to the fact that there was a lot of people downloading it, running it, and then saying it was destroying their computers, even though there are disclaimers in place. Now, going into it just here, I'm not going to give any links, of course. I'm going to respect the person's wishes. I'm not going to spread viruses. I don't do that anyways. You know, if you want to get samples, there are communities out there, just not through me. Anyways, over here we've got the actual program, Miss Major 2.0. Now it's got the uh, administrator icon, which by the way, general rule of thumb, if you want to be safe on a computer, please, please only run as administrator on programs you actually believe and genuinely use. If you run them randomly, you're going to have a bad time. So let's hit start and uh, see what we got over here. So Miss Major 2.0.exe. So let's hit uh, yes on this. Now it's going to give that little uh, startup prompt. We're going to be wait, waiting for it. So if I open up Task Manager real quick and I go to that lovely performance real quick, we can actually see that at some point, wow, Windows is using 3.2 gigs real quick. So it's actually, uh, it should be it should be loading up real quick. Cling clang 32 bit. Um, I hope something happens. <laughs> I, I, oh, there it is. Executing this program will harm your computer. This is an EULA, by the way. If you are an antivirus tester or a virus tester, you can try this. No way to fix your computer after infection. Again, don't risk your stuff. Let the stupid people handle it. Do not run on real PC. Use virtual machine. Windows 7, 8, 8.1, are able to execute virus. The virus will destroy your computer if you accept the rules. And creator won't be responsible for her damages. If you're trying this on a real machine, you are responsible. If you do not want to infect your PC, click cancel. So it's great that they give you a disclaimer real quick over here. But when I see things like... Uh, Try it on a virtual machine. I, I, I'm just a little careful. I, I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna give it the ability to go above one step. So let's accept everything. I'm responsible. Let's install, boys. So it's already glitching out real quick. And at this point, oh, here we go. This is the thing. So let's just minimize that. Uh, <laughs> let's minimize that real quick. Humans. Oh boy, you're about to be signed out. Okay. Is there any? Is there any audio to this? No. It just restarted. Ooh. That was a that was a battery fallen. Okay, so it's just restarting. That uh, that's interesting. So it immediately restarts my computer. I hope I can see something. I know that it completely gets rid of your computer. So let's give it a second. Reboot again. Recycle. Okay, so here it is. The system's starting up again, and we appear to be back into the situation. I think it's going to get a little creepier at this point. So let's just okay. Cling clang, boys. So we got the Annabelle doll over here real quick. No audio is playing, unfortunately. I'm looking at the mixer real quick. So over here, we've got a bunch of Miss Majors. And uh, oh, okay, here it begins again. Flashing creepy dolls. So we've got a bunch of programs that say humans are tasty, humans are tasty. Running them, on the other hand, if I can actually run it, unfortunately. We've got an eyeball for a mouse, for fuck's sake. The app can't run. So basically, the application doesn't exist. So if you actually right-click, go to like properties... Um, you may not be able to read it. I'll see if I can screenshot it out in post-production, but when we go over here in this situation, it'll actually show you that it's a zero byte program. It's called humans are tasty. It's just a zero byte exe file. There's no code to it. So it obviously can't run on the system. Now it says I've got five minutes. So if I see show rules 
real quick. There's a lot of this stuff coming out over here. Your computer has been infected by Miss Major. If you don't attend these rules, your computer will be trashed. These are the rules. If timer runs out, your computer won't work anymore. If you attempt to kill any process, your PC will die. Do not delete any virus file. Uninstall your antiviruses. They may try to remove viruses. You do not run Task Manager CMD Set C. Uh, do not use Safe Mode. Do not remove any registries from msconfig. Etc. So if you do any of these, what's going to happen is a red screen of death will trigger. Now, if you're going to sit here for four minutes watching this play out. Yeah, it's got creepy horror music now. What the hell is that? <laughs> okay, so it's got creepy horror music. That That's great to add. Now, I'm going to do one of the things. We're going to try running. Um, we're gonna, God, I'm getting creepy messages right now. Just out of nowhere. Who is messaging me right now? Stop it. You're freaking me out. Okay, so we've got three minutes and 40 seconds at this point. I'm not going to waste any more time. I'm going to break one of the rules. So, okay, I'm kicking up my... Uh, oh. Okay, all right, it's completely killing actually the processes being sent over here. So I'm trying to see how this one's gonna work real quick. So let me just, huh. Okay, there we go. So all right, here the system, I've just put it onto a bigger screen right now real quickly. It's going absolutely crazy. I can't see, okay, here we go. I broke the rules, ladies and gentlemen. I did. I just broke the rules right now. So we've got a screen over here coming up real quick. It says, a problem has been detected and Windows has been shut down to prevent damage to your computer. Trojans never jokes. Respect the Trojans. So I broke the rules right here. If this is the first time you've been seeing the screen, you are infected by mismajor.exe and you broke rules. It is unacceptable. However, your computer won't be able to boot up because logonui.exe is missing. So basically it's deleted key system uh, files that I need anyways to run this kind of stuff that's been removed if problems continue misspellings contact the virus owner or disable your bios memory jk second way won't work do not waste your time yeah so even if you reset cmos it's not going to get rid of the fact that your core windows directory is screwed up every time you boot up your computer the screen will appear okay blah 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 we've got a gmail address these are fake technical information so beginning dump of physical memory windows can't reboot shutdown.exe is missing fix your system if it's possible which at this point because of the amount of compromising going on it's probably not possible right now so we're going to reboot the system real quick as you can see it's going to reboot just into this that's what's happening so the virtual machines are busy um yeah it's actually not doing too well um what i've done over here is luckily i am running this nested in a vm so it won't be doing anything to my core computer i am actually running a i'm gonna see if i can pull up any memory draw somewhere just onto uh, another system and Yes, there is nothing hooking out of this, but what we are going to do is absolutely kill this virtual machine and get rid of it from the virtual machine and then kill the virtual machine I'm using to virtualize this. I know it sounds like Inception, but Muda's got to be really careful with the condom, just letting you know. So here's Miss Major again, right over here real quick, and this is powered off. So what we're going to do, since it's eight gigs over here real quick, we're just going to play machine and see what we get. So we're going to boot into it. This is the hypervisor kicking in. And at some point, Windows is going to try. So this is Windows without any of the boot up going out. So we'll just see what it's going to do as it tries to load up the operating system. Is it going to push me into recovery? And there it is. So the system is not running. This is the first thing it hooks into. So it's pretty much rooted into the system. We're not getting rid of it. But what's going to happen is we're going to shut down this guest. As you can see, you can shut it down. It gets rid of the hypervisor and we can remove it. So ladies and gentlemen, that is where we're at with this. This computer is completely broken. A creepypasta infected it. It's gone and that's it. So ladies and gentlemen, that was a lovely little virus, I must say. That was what we call Miss Major 2.0. Now again, it's a little difficult for me to find this sample, unfortunately. I had to look through like Wayback Machines and all this kind of stuff. I can't find the original, but what I do know is this version is just an enhanced version of it. So whatever you saw in this one is pretty much reminiscent of what happened in Miss Major. Now, is this virus something that I would see kick off? Is this dangerous? Absolutely, as you saw it completely killed a computer. But at the same time, luckily we were told that this virus was going to do this in the first place. Had I not known this, we would have had a situation where unfortunately, 
we would be out of a computer and God knows what else. Who knows if a virus like this would have sent private information out, right? I mean, that that is one of the things you have to watch out for, even with joke viruses. Like I said, I don't trust much on the computers nowadays. Um, knowing the amount of stuff that can be sent, knowing how compromised security can be, it's always best to be careful with such a situation. So even if you found a sample like this, I highly recommend not running it, just due to the fact that if you don't know what you're doing, you're going to have a bad time. But if you are interested in actually doing it, please remember to use nested virtual machines or a virtual machine in general, just due to the nature of such a virus. It could destroy a computer, okay? If I ran this on my computer, it would be gone. But I'm not going to do that because I'm going to do the intelligent thing right now and hopefully wish you guys a happy day. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Just like if you dislike it. Chiller video this week, but let me know what you thought about it. This is me, Muda, and I am out.